when two predatory jumping spiders come face to face. Which one will have the jump on the other? In the Battle of the Leaping Assassins, the long-jawed jumping spider is armed to the teeth. The long-jawed jumping spider is, in many regards, a fairly typical jumping spider. But what makes these spiders unusual is that they've got these incredibly long, thick chelicera with long fangs that are almost half its body length. Some spider fangs are barely visible, not these. These have the potential to be really good weapons. That's bad news for all kinds of prey. Not only that, but you can't sneak past a killer whose eyes are everywhere. Jumping spiders have incredible vision. They've moved a number of the eyes back on their carapace so that effectively, jumping spiders have 360 degree vision. Those two huge eyes, front and center, sense contrast, colors, even ultraviolet light. This smaller spider is already a marked bug. But the long-jawed jumping spider needs all of its visual acuity to make the kill. If you're jumping long distances, you need to have good depth perception so you actually land on your prey and effectively catch it. Death comes in an instant as those elongated fangs skewer the prey. With brains and brawn, the long-jawed jumping spider is more than a match for most bugs its size. But how will it fare when its opponent shares exactly the same talents? Now, the issue here is that we've got jumping spider against jumping spider. The green jumping spider has all the skills and all the smarts of the long jaw. In the eyes of some, she's also the supermodel of the spider world. That green jumping spider is absolutely gorgeous and big. In the minuscule world of jumping spiders, big is a relative term. The body is compact and the legs short. The perfect build for a spider that leaps onto its prey. When it comes to jumping, these guys are in a class of their own. They can launch themselves an amazing 20 times their own body length. Astounding. More often than not, the jump is a winner. This time, the prey is a fly. Also renowned for its speed and its wide field of vision. The green jumping spider measures the distance. The key to the kill is securing the victim as quickly as possible. The two front pair of legs are quite well developed, and they have these large spine-like hairs on them. It's like nature gave them a cute little face, but then gave them these mean legs to give a little bit of street cred. When you encounter spider beauty like this, you can guarantee the outcome won't be pretty. Both of them have same capabilities, except the long-jawed spider has much, much longer fangs than the other spider. 
On the other hand, the green jumping spider has size and power to its advantage. So in this case, it really is who has the element of surprise. Next, jumping assassins fight the ultimate duel. Then, two huntsmen face off in the forest. When two species of jumping spider target each other, it's anyone's guess as to which one will lose and which one will live to leap again. It's a close match. The long jaw might have bigger fangs, but, you know, size isn't everything. Then again, sheer body bulk might win the day. Both the spiders have fairly similar intellectual and visual capabilities, but one has a huge size advantage. The larger green jumping spider makes the first move. It's a Mexican standoff. Who will blink first? The long jaw plays safe, but the green beauty isn't giving up. The key in this entire battle is whoever catches the other spider first is going to win. She stalks her opponent. <laughs> and scores a direct hit. Her fangs might be small, but they drip with deadly venom. These guys have a really fast-acting venom. The long jaw's legs have already started to curl up. A sure sign it's about to pass its use-by date. As the long jaw discovered to his dismay, the supermodel is more than just a pretty face. Looks can kill. <laughs> 